Good day, all. This is Turbo Dave here at Performance Corner. Um, I'm going to talk to you today about vacuum and boost leaks on superchargers, especially, specifically, actually, um, roots type or positive superchargers, which usually mount in the uh, V of the engine or the middle of the engine on like a V8 or V6 or something. Um, a lot of times those uh, they have leaks, uh, whether it be vacuum and or boost leaks, and they can be a little bit tough to find. Uh, one of the reasons is if you're having an idle problem or a boost problem, uh, when it's idling, it's pushing some air towards it, so towards the intake. So you're not going to get the same kind of vacuum, you know, that you would if you s sprayed some kind of type of either smoked it or or uh, sprayed some kind of soapy solution on it. We actually had a, a supercharged. <coughs> Raptor, Ford Raptor 6.2 liter come in. Uh, the thing had terrible drivability, lacked power, um, all kinds of problems. Uh, without getting into the whole thing, you know, right off the bat, we wanted to be able to secure the, the area that the problem was in. So we went over everything, you know, there was an engine calibration, which um, this was a Whipple and the engine calibrations are usually very solid. So we were looking at it, you know, we tried smoking it, didn't work. Um, so what we ended up doing is we put some uh, soapy water in a spray bottle and we would rev the engine, you know, kind of rapidly and spray the water around. There's the base that bolts to the heads and then there's the base bolts to the supercharger where the, the base has an intercooler in it. So we, we sprayed all the areas around the base to the heads and you know looked in that area um, and as we were doing it with the soapy water which we couldn't find with the smoke or anything else we found that it would blow bubbles um, we were rapidly building boosts in there you know just sitting there um, in neutral with the parking brake on so we put it on the dyno and did the same thing but we actually ran it this time and under hard pressure it would blow bubbles out so we took it all apart, took the blower off and everything, and we found out that we had a, uh, somebody had, whoever installed it, uh, it came to us after months of being like this, and I guess the person who was the middle person who took it to a shop that had, I guess that shop had done other installs, um, they did it, and I guess this is the only one that didn't come out correct. So we took it, and we found out that it had a leak there, we basically had to pull it apart after we did all the diagnostic work on it and did a full reinstall on it and had to get new uh, seals and everything for it and it and that's what had happened it had rolled uh, during installation uh, and some of these that have the round um, like a round seal you know it's like a o-ring but it fits around this the whole big part of the lower part or in the middle and sometimes you have to slide them a little bit because the cowling on the newer trucks comes forward over the engine. When you do that, you need to use like a, a lithium white grease really lightly so it can roll without getting caught. And it doesn't have, it's not like you're pushing it back feet or anything, it's just a little bit. But maybe it fell out when they were installing it or whatnot. Um, it looked like they had gone back in and tried to seal it, but it didn't work. So the, the, the O-ring had been cut. So we, um, placed it back inside there with the new parts, cleaned it all up, and we got it to run just the way it was supposed to be, you know, right off the bat. Um, but it can be very difficult finding a uh, vacuum or boost leaks. And what happens is when you have a vacuum or boost leak, it's not seeing the kind of vacuum it should. Normally, if you put a gauge on the on the manifold, it's not seeing the or on the plenum, if you, it's not seeing the right type of vacuum or the right amount and you're not going to get full boost and that's what happened with this this wasn't also getting full boost so when you're winding it out it's you know it's not that it's not linear <clears throat> it's not going as the way that it was tuned for so it's either running rich or lean or going back and forth or trying to find itself you know as far as on this it's not a map sensor so you you have a uh, math sensor manifold apps uh, it's not a manifold absolute pressure sensor, which is a MAP sensor. It's a MAF sensor. So those run out usually off of a, a wire on most late model cars. It's a wire. <clears throat> they call it a hot wire. 
So it measures air coming by. <clears throat> if you're all open and you're getting a lot of air coming in, but you don't have the right amount of boost in the in the manifold, you're not going to get the uh, you're not going to get the correct uh, reading, and you're going to probably end up with too much fuel because you don't have the right amount of boost in there. So it's putting in more fuel because that's what it thinks it needs, but in actuality, you might be down a couple pounds of boost, and it doesn't need that much fuel. So um, these can be difficult to diagnose, and so that's why we're here trying to give a little bit of a hand on that. Um, soapy water goes a long way on a lot of things, to be honest with you, um, and it doesn't take very much soap in a spray bottle. Uh, fill it mostly with water and a couple drops of uh, soap, like Dawn or something like that, and you can spray it around the intake manifold. We actually have found a couple of uh, issues on the plenums or lower manifolds with soapy water. Um, using that method under either rapid revving, you know, just sitting there in neutral uh, with the e-brake on, rapid revving, or on the dyno, uh, we've found out some issues with a couple supercharger uh, plenums and stuff like that. So I think it's a, <clears throat> I think that's a good way to find it. Uh, if you have another way of finding it, please leave it in the comments below if you've done something else. Um, we also do the smoke. Uh, sometimes what happens is uh, if you have a, some problems, you can have a, a vacuum issue where you have a vacuum leak and the, the gasket will literally suck in and you have a vacuum leak. But you get full boost because it seals back up under boost. It pushes it and the, the gasket or the O-ring literally will seal it back up and or vice versa. You can have good vacuum and it seals it and under boost it blows it out and then it sucks it back in under vacuum. So there's uh, issues you can have too. Uh, it can go one way but not the other. Um, so just getting a little bit of knowledge across on finding a supercharger plenum uh, leaks, lower or uh, right at the blower leaks. This is Turbo Dave here at Performance Corner. I hope you liked the video. If you do, please subscribe. Please watch our other videos. Um, we cover a wide variety of performance and factory. And we also do tools um, and how-tos and stuff like that. So you'll see more videos from us. All right, you guys be safe. Have a good one. Take care.